Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Lav here. It is April 2nd, 2016. Figured I'd do a little coffee chat and talk about a couple of things that's going on and what's on my mind and, uh, you know, kind of like, I, you know me with my videos, I like to break things up. Most of my videos are out there working in the real world and uh, kind of bring you guys along as, you know, as I do jobs and stuff. But sometimes I like to do these little coffee chats and talk about things that people ask me and so it's beginning of April, um, kind of like in between seasons, between heating and cooling. You know, I always got plumbing going on, but not a lot going with heating because it's warm enough where the people don't really need to run the heat, and it's not really cooling season yet. And usually, um, unless the the first hot day, you'll get like 20, 30 calls come in. You know, I got a couple of change outs I've been doing on systems that were bad last year, and. Um, it's always a good time to do change outs in the spring. I like to, you know, go up in the attics when it gets really hot out. I'm not a big fan of working up there in the attics when it's, you know, 120, 130 degrees up there. And, oh, come on over and change my system. You say you do know for X amount of dollars. No, that was a spring price, ma'am, you know. It's 130 now. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be more now. <laughs> You know, people usually don't call you until, you know, they turn their system on and it's not working. Oh, my God, we need to call the service guy to come in and fix it. But anyway, um, what's going on with me? You know, I've been getting a lot of questions about the sheet metal work that I do on my transitions and how I do stuff. You know, how I do stuff out in the field is what I find works for me. There's other guys, you know, that do videos and stuff that do sheet metal different than I do. I just, you know, on my videos, I post what works for me. You know, some guys get some tips from it. Some guys like it. Other guys don't. It is what it is, you know. I never claim to be a, a super tech or, you know, um, a sheet metalologist. It's a sheet metalologist is all he does. No. What works for me is what, what's in my videos, you know. And people people that want to, you know, take. I don't. I don't force my stuff on anybody. They want to watch it. They can watch it, you know. And sometimes people pick up pointers, you know. I'm glad that they do. You know, I never claim to be an expert on any of this stuff, so. What else is going on? Yeah, I got some concern about, you know, R22 being, uh, you know, um, phased out. And a lot of these, these blends that are coming down the pike and a lot of, I'm afraid a lot of these guys are just going to drop these replacements right on top of 22 and uh, it's going to contaminate all the 22. That's what, I th that's what I'm thinking is going to happen, but I might be wrong. I got a whole bunch of containers of 22 and I'm going to run them, I don't know, I got probably 15 cans of R22 that I had bought, so... I got plenty of 22 to run, but my concern is that these 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 cats are going to be. Oh my God, 22's gone up X amount of dollars. Let's get the 407 C and we'll just dump it right on top of the 22. That's what's going to happen. You watch, mark my words. That's what's going to happen. Or M099, they're going to take it and they're going to drop it right on top of there. And then when the guy goes to recover that that mixed stuff, you know. He's going to go recover that system, put it in his 22, can't take it back for re recycle, and it's going to be no good. That's what I'm thinking is going to happen. I'm hoping not, but the way fl how flaky people are, I'm thinking, yeah. Um, on my last couple of videos, I've been I've been using that Stay Bright 8, which is, it's a soft solder, but it's got a high silver count, and it's designed to be used in refrigerant systems. Um, you can use it on air conditioning, you know, refrigeration stuff, and I use Silfloss and Stay Bright 8. I use them both. Some guys, some guys like Stay Bright 8, some guys don't. It is what it is, you know. I mix my stuff up. I like to use different things. Either way, I like it because you don't, you know, really cook the service valves when you're doing the job. Either way, you should wrap the service valves with a wet rag because there's O-rings in there. You know, you should probably, and you don't need to, you don't need to purge it with nitrogen. So that's why I like the Stay Bright 8. Uh, I do use Silfos 15% and the Stay Bright 8 is like a 15% silver also. The Stay Bright 8 is actually supposed to have a, a stronger tensile strength. So I'm good with soft solder. I've been doing it for so long, seeing, I'm not, you know, I do a lot of plumbing. So some guys that aren't good with soft solder, they might, they might not want to use it. Um, it's an option you guys have. Um, is it right or is it wrong? That's up to you guys to decide, you know. I show you what I do, whether you guys think I'm right or wrong by doing it. 
that's you that's for you to decide i don't claim to be an expert or you know any of that stuff so i show you what i do what i'm going to do on this particular job is what i'm going to do whether you guys agree with it or not that's your decision to make you know uh, I've been getting a lot of different requests on doing the cooking videos because I do do cooking videos. I do them for the real working guys out in the field to show the real working men how to cook, how real working men cook. Because you guys all know I'm a real working guy and I do cook, so I post videos. And I've been getting different requests to do different type of videos, and I'll do those videos. I'll bring them down a pike, and I do enjoy doing the cooking videos. You know, my little dog enjoys the enjoys the meals, Mama. <laughs> all right a couple of things i want to talk about here um nylog for pulling vacuums on uh you know air conditioning assist because it's getting on that time of air conditioning assist i'm going to be switching over and doing more ac and uh i think that nylog they got the blue and the red it's so important when you're pulling a vacuum to use a little bit of nylon put a little snot on there mama I hope you pull the vacuum, you know. A lot of times the gaskets aren't perfect. The nylog will seal up that gasket to give you a nice seal. So it's important to buy, get that nylog and use that when you're pulling your vacuums. It really does help. I figured I'd mention that. And I have mentioned in the past, it's getting all going to be on coming on AC season really soon. And I'm hoping to do get a lot of cleanings and repairs this year and, and bring some more videos uh, to the table, you know. Um... I recently just uh, purchased a generator for my house, a Generac generator. I'll be doing a video on that. It's be coming up really soon. I had to put a pad in the backyard. I had to move my condensing unit over. It was kind of in a bad spot, my condensing unit, because I had a, a dry event there that was, you know, installed along after the air conditioner. So I ended up, you know, moving the air conditioner over, uh, um, putting a big uh, pad in the back of the house for the Generac, and I'm going to be you know, piping that off and getting the electrician over here to wire it all. And I'll give you guys a full video. It'll probably be two or three videos on the Generac install, but it's a whole house generator. It's, you know, 11 kW. It can run pretty much my whole house. You know, probably not the AC, but uh, it could run pretty much all the other stuff. So I'll be bringing that video along. I got some other plumbing videos coming down, and like I said, it's going to be coming on air conditioning season, guys, so there'll be a lot of rock and rolling happening with different stuff, and I like to break my channel up. I try to do different type of videos and, you know, and keep interesting. Um, I wanted to do a shout out to all my loyal subscribers, all my, my subscribers that follow me on a daily basis, that leave comments on my videos, and I will say that, you know, my channel's built on the backs of the, my loyal subscribers, and I got, I got a, guys and girls that follow me, you know, on a daily basis, and I, I just wanted to appreciate all them guys, and uh, they know who they are, because there's too many to list, but, you know, I had other guys that used to follow me, and don't leave comments anymore, but I got guys that are loyal to me, they've been loyal to me for years, and Every day they leave a comment on my videos, and um, I just wanted to say I thanks for for the loyal support, and you know it really means a lot to me. That's why I do the videos. Videos can be a lot of work. A video like this is not hard. A little talking head video, you know, you read it a little bit out when you let it rock and roll. It's not hard, but the. The, the videos out in the field working, you know, you got to come home and then you got to edit all the dead time out of them. That's them take a long time, you know. Them take a long time. The little baby dog, let me see if I can get her. Come on. Come on, you want to say hi to the people? Come on. Hey, guys, here's the baby dog. Got her in diapers again, man. She's been leaking in the house. Oh, yeah, she's been doing the whole piddle action. We got her back in the diapers. Oh, she's back in training, Mama. Oh, yeah, she is. She's in the pens for men's, Mama. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, I gotta, you know, this is my little boy. This is my little, my partner in crime, man. It's the baby dog. She's a leaker, Mama. Oh, yeah. Put him in diapers. She stopped leaking all of a sudden. Oh, yeah, she did. She stopped doing your pit. You know, let her rip into the chip, man. Oh, yeah. There's the baby dog, but I like to keep her in all the videos. You guys get a kick out of her. She's a good little rescue dog, and uh, I work with her, you know. She deals with my stuff, so I guess I got to deal with her. She's part of the channel. 
She's got the little tongue action happening, Mama. Look at your tongue action. Oh, yeah. She's got tongue action. <laughs> All right, guys. Anyway, just a little coffee chat. I just figured that, you know, I like to break my stuff up on my channel. You know, I do all kinds of stuff. I, you know, work in videos and I try to keep interest into the subscribers. You know. But anyway, that's it. More videos to come. And uh, hopefully this year, you know, the beginning of the year coming here, I, you know, it's in, we're in April here. Hopefully I can get some, some decent videos up and, um, you know, keep building my subscriber base and keep building, you know, my loyal subscribers. That's, that's my goal. My goal is to keep, you know, my loyal subscribers happy and coming back for more, more views. So I will continue to do what I do. And uh, hopefully I can have your support, you know. I appreciate all, you know, all the thumbs up, all the support, all the comments. So, you know, if you, got, if you guys want, share the videos. Share, comment, like. You know, you can go right down here and share the video on, on Facebook or whatever you want. It actually, it's good to, I'm trying to get the videos out there, you know. I spend a lot of time on them. Alright guys, thanks for watching and uh, more videos to come.